CD we released just in March of uh, this year. We're mighty proud of it. It's a wonderful, wonderful CD. You're all invited to to buy a copy on your on your way out this evening. Uh, all right. Well, I wasn't really going to plan on shooting any video tonight, but I wanted to show you guys a little something right here in this area here we had a hole going through this trunk brace so I got to digging around on that and cutting it out and all that and I started seeing some light up through there you can kind of see a hole right there and unfortunately there's more right there I got to digging around looking for that hole, which that hole that you can see from underneath is is behind here. So, and this rusted crack right through here is just between, or just in the middle of that uh, that U-channel brace that I was fixing, the spot welds for it are right here. Um, there's a set of spot welds right through here probably. So. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is uh, one of those tough situations. I got to think about how to fix it without taking this off. And you can't really take this off without taking this off. That's too pretty to mess with. You know, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I wanted to show you guys before I got it all cut out and hacked up. Um, we did. I did, however, get our bracket kind of lined out, and I'm ready to pour 15 everything. There's my welded nuts on a washer on the back. It'll bolt right on here. It hooks right onto here, and I'll just bolt it on there and have it close. And it's adjustable this way, and it's adjustable that way. So that's a uh, one accomplishment, I suppose, along with along with the rest of the stuff I've been through, which is, you know, really I'm having a good time, and, and I think the good time in this whole kind of situation is seeing stuff like this and wondering how in the world am I going to fix that without dismantling the whole entire car um, and keeping it a decent car at the same time. Um, but the fun part is figuring it out. And accomplishing my goal so we'll get back with you guys uh, I think this is Wednesday night so probably over the weekend I'll uh, show you some more scary stuff all right see it oh boy <clears throat> let's see what we got here a big hole in the floor <laughs> you know that I was just gonna fix this bracket it's all a little daylight right about here. Then I saw a little daylight behind this thing here. And it turned into this. Then there was a big crack going down through here. And it's just kind of how these old cars are. The thing I had to do is this bracket has a little step down bracket, I guess, that slides in and out of the inside of this from the factory. They slide it down to the floor and they weld it on the floor. Then they weld it to this bracket. It's just like that one there. If you look you can see this, the little seam welds right there. They're actually kind of crappy. They're not that good of welds. So to make it easier on myself and to get off to the repair I just whack that off right there. Just whack it off right on the end. And then I'll make a new one and drop it down on my new floor when I get it there and, and be done with it. So you can kind of see where this is supposed to come and it goes down and attaches here on both sides and, and they actually had a space for water and stuff to get out but it filled up with dirt and plugged up it rusted this out rusted that out you know so and it has to be there because if you can see I don't know if you'll be able to see but this whole thing will move just a little bit so it needs that you know and you know, I'll worry about making um, nice tight little seams where I weld and, and, and not fill up too much stuff with a uh, seam sealer but you see this hole right here that's not a rust hole that's a hole between the panels and it was just dumbed up with uh, this whole corner thing was dumbed up with 
with seam sealer you know plugging that off so I think I'm doing pretty good compared to the factory anyway <laughs> okay y'all I'm gonna make a pattern I'll make a pattern for this right here maybe do it all in one piece and I'll show it to you when I get done let's go see what Jackson's barking about What are you barking about? Huh? Uh, police action right in front of my house. That poor guy. Got a couple of cops after him. Wow. Alright, enough being nosy. I'll talk back to you here in a few. Alright, so I haven't quite got back to working on the car yet. Uh, still have this police thing going. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on. If you see the you see that there's one guy standing there in handcuffs a lady cop and a mister cop there's another cop in that first cop car there's a cop car right behind my truck and there's another cop car that the lady cop got out of and when I first got to looking got to watch and see what was going on there was a car parked in front of all these cops and another civilian looking feller and they sent him on his way so I don't know if this guy was riding with him or maybe threw a rock at him driving down the road I don't know what's going on but I think they're it could have been they've been looking for him they're gonna load him up and take him down to the popo office it's hard telling if uh... I'll turn this back on if they start beating on that guy or something or something crazy happens otherwise I'll get back on this car maybe as soon as this is over with. Alright, so here's here's what I got. Getting ready to put on some four fifteen. Uh sort of have a pattern here that goes gonna go something like something like that you know then I've got a piece of steel ready to go just to right here I tried to make it all in one piece man it's kinda of, it's kinda of tough I'm just not quite good enough for that but what's the heck it's not gonna matter anyway really but I wanted to show you I'm gonna do some of this 415 and I don't have gloves so I'm gonna use a Ziploc baggie nice throwaway brush and what I want to do is pour 15 inside of this channel it goes all the way down to the other side uh, actually what I might do is find me a piece there's a hole right here uh, from the factory hole and there's a hole through this bracket underneath it so I might tape that off with some tape and dump whatever I got left right on down through there and let it run out the other end Hold on a second. I want to find my tape. There we go. Two inch tape. I don't know if you can see this hole right here. There's another hole underneath it in the bottom of that bracket. really good 3M tape and some of that 
kind of rusty rusty covered rusty surface metal metal that tape even sticks to it at least temporarily so and you're gonna watch this stuff it doesn't want to come off your skin uh, you know it's probably not good for you I've never heard that it's killed anybody but you know, I just kind of one nice good heavy coat now this stuff really likes a, just a little bit of rust now if you don't use or have a little bit of rust and you're uh, going to put it on some bare metal it seems to work a lot better to put it on on some uh, metal etching primer first clean your metal up prep it up spray on some just whatever kind of metal etching primer there you go then put it on there it seems to work a lot better it likes to have something to eat into just slightly so we'll just get this coated because it'll get coated on the outside eventually before I'm all done with it um, but I want to be able to do this kind of while since it seems like the ends of the this channel bracket, the ends are where it's rusted a lot more. So I want to, while I have it apart, I'll do that the best I can get it. Maybe even go this way get the underside of that pan that floor pan a little bit and this stuff's starting to get kind of old on me so it's getting nice and gooey what I can do is put I'll just put this one of these lamps these work lights get really hot so I'll put that right on there this after I get done with my welding and I want to uh, get it soaked into those little wear welding areas and, and uh, little pinholes and the heat just makes it thin and wick right through everything so I want to goo some of this on down and let it go work its way down into the the rest of that channel, or at least the bottom side of it, uh, and what that's going to do is just help coat the bottom side and really super protect it. Need some work in that hole. And I do tend to make a pretty big mess with this stuff, but. You know what? I'm the one paying for it. Not you. And it's starting to get kind of old and I need to use it up. I'll be happy to go get more when, when I need to. That's probably going to drip all over my floor and all that. Okay. Anyhow. I'll do my piece right here real quick this stuff goes a long long way just like when you're a kid and you built and if you built those models those plastic models the, the black paint the one that always hardened up hardened up and got gooey and covered the best was the black paint and it's something to do with the uh, pigments in it you know I imagine I'm no chemist or paint guy really but and there's that that's all that's going to take I'll take and let that dry just a few minutes go ahead and do over here because I got to be careful I got to get inside this trunk and lay down in it to get to what I got to do so it means I got to lay in this stuff or I'll get it on my clothes, but I got old clothes on and I don't care. 
I'm doing a spot that I fixed the uh, the other hole just forward of this one and uh, metal X primed it that's where my my hanger is for the uh, fender skirt I never can remember the word fender skirt sometimes what the hell the dang things called I don't know but I want that to get on there and soak into my any kind of holes that I have I still yet to do underneath it but when I when I pour 15 all this I'll do the whole thing pretty good and that's it so I'll let this yeah well there's nothing really left in there okay there's my plastic bag I'll set this all off to the side do some welding um, and it'll be ready to go hopefully in the next 20-30 minutes I can use it again we'll get right back with you alright everybody I wanted to show you something just really really quick this this is the YouTube channel uh, my friend Pete and, and well actually it's, it's SWRNC just look, I'll, I'll leave a description at the end of the video and all that stuff SWRNC and you heard me talk about my friend Pete I've learned a lot about um, doing stuff like this to cars and and not just from him from a lot of other people over the years and I'll mention them here in, in uh, towards the end of the video uh, but he's got a video up that uh, uses instrumental songs from the Punk and Holler Boys. Uh, like up up around here, he's got the uh, up around this part will pop up um, YouTube videos of of uh, the Punk and Holler Boys, and and he really likes the music, and I'm I'm pretty proud of that. This is um, you know a, a global kind of channel. There's people all over the world that watch this stuff. And the other cool thing. Right up, if you watch this video right up here, it'll pop up and say 1962 Cadillac Master or something like that. Well, that's a link going to my YouTube channel, <laughs> so I don't know that I'm a I'm a master or anything, but um, I'll see if I can leave a, a link to that video um, in the description of this video, so you guys can check it out. I hope you do. Anyhow, uh, I got a cat, it's a little baby cat okay I've got this piece in turned out pretty well I've got my pattern piece cut out and I've got it started and I kinda wanted to show you guys how I sort of do these these funky curves these funky curves right here they can be kinda tough then I'll just show you how how I'm gonna do it I like to find a good place to plant the piece as a flat piece and I've got spot welds or holes drilled for plug welds, put it that way. And what I'll do is I'll I'll first do this one, this one right here on the end, okay. And I'll move my vice grips down along and get it all conformed to that shape, okay. Now once I do that, I can uh, I can then you know start stitch welding right here, and then I'll I'll, I'll uh, hammer that down, start working it down and get that down then I'll come back here as far as I can this is really hard to get to but I'll do the same thing here and work my way and I'll work back and forth and the whole piece will conform to the rest and it'll it'll be just like you want it now you notice here I've got this piece a little bit long it looks a little bit long now the time you go around curves and stuff you know your distance is farther than in a straight line so it should end up right about here and I'll stitch weld it on the end right there all together so let me do that, get her all mashed down, and I'll check back with you. Alright, got something done here. Got our, all our little section pieces all in. I'm not the proudest of those welds, but, you know, for where it's at, it's alright. I'll grind them down. It's all going to be covered with seam sealer anyway. Well, uh, got a little bit of four, poor 15 action going on inside where this bracket is supposed to attach you can see the old parts of the old brackets now I'll grind them down and clean them up but I'm gonna leave that old thickness of steel there it gives me extra extra meat to weld to the thicker the metal I have the better off we are as far as welding goes um, 
but it's pour 15 on the inside of it right now. Of course, I'll have holes in it. I can spray stuff in there. And my new pieces, I'll pour 15 on the inside. But I want to do that right now while I can get to it. Um, I'll just make a couple patterns. I'm not real sure how I'll, I'll do it. This side's kind of short and this side's kind of long, so I just it's kind of hard to make it all one piece. So I probably won't. Might make it out of a couple. I don't know. I'll. Uh, it's a Saturday night and I'm working kind of late, having a good time. So it's hard telling how much further I'll get. Um, I'll probably get something else done, but uh, I'll show you either tonight or tomorrow or Monday. Well, who knows? See you, everybody. Okay, I was wanting to show you guys something real quick. Now I made a little pattern for here, and of course, right over at this, it'll I'll seam seal it or, or seam weld it, but I've got to have uh, my flaps basically, and I want a flap coming this way. So when I do my other piece, I'll have a flap going that way. Then I'll just cap it off with a, uh, a straight piece of sheet metal and done. Um, here. Here we've got to have it coming down and, and so I can, you know, weld to here. And I've got to have it so I can weld to the floor. So, I want to show you something real quick. And I was trying to show you this guy's, or this, um, before. This is how I'm doing my little, my little bends, okay. Um, I mark them out. I cut my piece out just a little bit bigger. And then, uh, you know, make my little cuts out of the corners and all that like I did here and I just you know there you go nice piece of steel and you know basically uh, and then I'll take the hammer and work it take the body hammer and work it out and make that line nice and straight and all that stuff so I just want to show you that real quick while I was at it um, uh, let's so let's keep on going alright so this is Monday evening now and this I did pour, I did get, I've got three patches in here, believe it or not. I couldn't quite do it out of one, and I found another little area here, so, and it's all the way, all the way back to where our drop down panel goes. Spot welded right along here, really nice. I have to add yet my little drop down piece for my quarter panel structure, the little foot that goes down here, so I have to grind my 415 off. I don't know why I did that. But it's okay. Well, down here, I've got where our section was missing. I got a piece of 18 or uh, eighth inch steel right here. It goes inside here, and it's seam welded right there. Then I have a couple little welds off to the side so that it can drain down the bottom right out here if water gets in it. Now I've got a piece right in the back, capping it off on this side. And I wanted to pour 15 it, and I'll spray some rust-proof undercoating 3M style inside this as far as I can. Uh, and then I'm going to make my piece and cap it all off on the outside. Then this little section is done. I can uh, then put my little drop-down bracket on it, uh, pour 15 it up, let it dry. I'll start seam sealing from the front all the way back on this side. And kind of get a game plan at that point. I'll be back. There's them punk and holler boys. Yep, they're on Facebook too. Just look up the punk and holler boys. Do that little search right there. There we are. Ralph said, I, or Stuart, need to get rid of this, uh, this blurry ass picture. He don't like it. It's a cool picture, but it is blurry. I kind of, but I like our our whole look there. That's 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 us to a T right there. Anyhow, we're gonna finish this little video up really quick. This this one you're watching now uh, went over uh, maybe a week's time, week and a half time, and I think when I last left you. I had this little area here to fix. Uh, got her all fixed up. It was rotted out. 
did find some surprises in the floor and I'll show you how that turned out turned out pretty well told you I wasn't sure how I was going to fix this little deal the uh, this bracket goes down and what they they have in there is a little sheet metal bracket that they stick in there and just kind of stitch weld it on the sides and everything to the floor so I just took a piece of eighth inch steel rounded it down and stitch welded it to the bracket right on top of my new my new trunk floor section turned out pretty well I think uh, you know hey it's more solid than it was probably from the factory I've got it all seam sealed now so it's probably sealed up even better we have this little area here to fix next right there and this one actually is a little worse in this corner but it's okay we'll get it got another little hole right there just like this hole was there for our bracket uh, speaking of our bracket told you I'd show you that all done uh, now if you remember the old rusty bracket it almost looks identical I'm pretty proud of that I just uh, made sure my holes and my slots were all in place I put the, the fender skirt in there and made sure the body lines were pretty close put my bracket on there bolted it up and that was it but we do have everything seam sealed on the inside and once all this stuff all the seam sealer dries here on the you know on the outside parts of the car well uh, undercoat them really good and other than the new undercoating you won't be able to tell they were there so I, I uh, did some seam sealing and that wasn't too bad figured I'd have an easy night my uh, uncle Eric had passed away last Saturday um, and he lived a good life he was the sweetest person I've ever known never said or thought anything bad about anybody if he thought it he never said it the most optimistic person I've ever known and he uh, um, his passing made me realize that uh, life is short it's precious you need to do what you can do with yourself while you you feel the, the urge to do it you know um, as long as you're not hurting anybody and you're having a good time and you're adding something to the world I think that's what you need to be doing uh, so I got a lot of that going on in my head at the moment and made some some changes in in my life that I think are for the better and for uh, and better for a lot of people other people in my life I don't know it's hard to explain anyway I've been wire brushing uh, since I've got this side of the car done it's seam sealed I want to pour 15 this stuff on this half of the bottom of the car while it's while it's up on its side uh, because probably Saturday I'll move the car outside turn around push it back in this way and and that way I can work on this side of the shop where all the tools and supplies and stuff are a uh, little surface rust here wire brushed all this down the the back panel area here of the frame rails now I have some surface rust up there just underneath the weather strip for the trunk opening but I'm going to do that a little different than the than the rest of it so I've left that and I'll do that along with my outer body work when I when I get to that point you know just like this kind of stuff I'll do this with my outer body work um, I, I like doing things in sections that way I don't uh, miss so much or, or you know and I have my processes on how to get it done so that'll be the next thing I've got this all wire brush the rear end all cleaned up wire brush best I could up inside the rear end well because this car sits so low the rear end goes way up inside the body so there's a big cavity in there it's pretty tough to get into some of these some of these little tight places like right inside up inside there uh, I'm gonna try my best to brush my uh, pour 15 in um, I got about a half a gallon it's getting pretty thick and uh, I think it'll probably take this half gallon to do this whole side of the bottom of the car is all it's all cleaned up ready to go um, 
pour 15 it all up really good and uh, we'll go on the other side the other side is not so bad I think this 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 corner is a little bit worse but so far as the rest of the car up and down it should go pretty quick it's not uh, it's not nearly as bad as the the passenger side I think somebody drove this car for many years up and down gravel roads and rough roads and and of course on the right side of a old country road gravel road is always worse than than on the driver's side so I think that's what the what the deal is anyhow folks I want to uh, give a shout out I tried giving a shout out on my last uh, my last video that I, I published and I couldn't remember the the young man's name but his name is Adam and I believe he's from North Dakota and has a, uh, a 62 Cadillac that's black I'll uh, I'll find his YouTube channel uh, and link it to the on the bottom down in this description area right underneath the video uh, hopefully he won't care but uh, uh, keep an eye on his stuff he does good good uh, he's got a good attitude he's really young and he's wanting to work on his car a little bit and I want to encourage him so if uh, if everybody's watching he'll be encouraged is sort of what you guys do for me on this car uh, if it weren't for you I could leave this car sit for a couple of months and not even come out here and look at it but if I'm making videos and people are asking me when's the next video coming out I say well I gotta get something done to have the next video come out so I keep working on it it's a part of my enjoyment for this whole thing uh, another shout out to uh, Mike Myers he's checked out my videos he's a uh, you know uh, been a body guy for for many many years and uh, he's pretty happy with what I'm doing so I'm kinda of proud of that too um, I'm glad you're watching Mike and hopefully you're uh, proud of what I'm doing here I need help you bet I'll have you out here helping me uh, but I like figuring out stuff for myself and I'm fiercely independent so you know how I am anyhow shout out to my friend Pete I told you a little bit earlier in this video about his his video he put out with Punk and Holler Boys instrumentals in it turned out really cool the boys all really like it I'll, uh, I'll stick a, a, a link to that video down this, in the, the, the description as well um, uh, another shout out to uh, Sam I've watched him a little bit working on his uh, he's got a 64 Impala I believe that is uh, turning out really nice he of course goes way farther than I am with this car and it, it might have been in worse shape but uh, he's doing a, a really super good job and it's if you're interested in this kind of stuff and watching people do it and learning how to do it uh, you know he's like me he, he's not trying to teach anybody anything he's just showing how he's doing it and he does a really good job so uh, Sam with uh, classic car overhaul I believe I'll, I'll probably stick his channel down there a link to his channel and uh, so you guys can see the people that I watch and and the people that watch me anyhow hope you all had uh, enjoyed this video and uh, we'll we'll get back on the next one I'll show you after some stuff this poor 15 underneath it and the cars moved around and and that'll be the the next video and we'll start it over this weekend um, but I thanks thank you for watching subscribe so you can know uh, if you if you want to see the next video you'll know when it's up and uh, it, it supports me and and Lulu here and and getting a job done you know some accountability for me to get to keep moving on this thing it's uh it's it's pretty fun so far it's a lot of work a lot of dirty work I'll probably look pretty dirty now I imagine I don't know I think I always look dirty though anyways folks thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you on the next one Some seam sealer there. All the everywhere I where I welded, except for the the output parts where I want water to drain out. I kind of did that process all the way down there. It'll turn out nice. <laughs>